this week, my new broadband arrived, and what was a seamless, smooth running setup of smart switches, smart bulbs, and many smart plugs, all of which that used to work seamlessly on my old network, oddly enough, just wouldn't connect to my brand new one. And I figured quite a few of you are probably going to run into the exact same situation. So I thought I'd put together a list of a couple different tricks that you guys can try to migrate all of your smart devices from your old network to your brand new one. But before we get started, for those of you interested in my live wallpapers, you can grab them from my own epic live wallpaper app. Sadly, it's no longer on the Play Store, so I've gone full premium. It's a one-time payment, and then you have lifetime access. And if you guys want to know more about what happened between me and the Google Play Store, I'll leave another link down below explaining the full story. Alright, so we're going to keep things super generic super simple okay most smart devices operate on 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi connections however many routers these days combine 2.4 gigahertz with 5 gigahertz into one network and because they are combined smart devices basically get confused between the two different frequencies so this is the main issue we want to address and there's a couple different ways we can address it all right let's start separating the frequency bands now for this, we need to log into the Wi-Fi router itself. So in your browser, one of these two IP addresses should open up the router admin panel for you. And of course, the login details will be at the bottom of your brand new router. For more help on this, just comment down below and I'm sure the community will step in at this point. But anyway, once you're logged in, head over to wireless and then you want to separate the two bands. And this solution is what most people go with. So they separate it and they will have two networks showing whenever they try to connect to Wi-Fi. One with 2.4 at the end and another with 5. Now at this point, obviously keep in mind depending on your router itself, you might need an additional step like here. Yeah, for me, I had to disable the channel optimization option. After which, within security, I can tweak both individually. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of having to choose between 2.4 and 5 GHz. Option 2 having a whole different access point just for your smart devices. You can either head off to eBay, Amazon, just grab yourself a small yet reasonably priced device and then you just set it up, add it to your network, and then you connect all your smart devices to that. This isn't a bad idea to be fair, but of course you're spending more money and yeah, good luck waiting around for the delivery man. <coughs> And personally speaking, my network setup already requires quite a bit of cable management. I don't want to add another device, at least just yet. But having said that, if you guys are experiencing drop-offs or network clog-ups, you might want to check out Lioness's video on why this might be, with a couple different suggestions on things you can try. So now that we got the two basic options available out the way, let's look at a couple different tricks that you guys can try to get the smart devices connected to that combined network, all right? First up, we've got a distance trick. Apparently, I'm gonna say apparently because I haven't really tried this one with my setup, but if you go far enough, eventually when you do try to connect to the network, the only one available for you to connect to would be the 2.4 gigahertz because that's designed for a longer distance range. So if you guys are setting up something like a smart plug, just take it far away as possible from the network and then try and set it up from there. It should connect to the 2.4 gigahertz automatically. But yeah, luckily for me, I didn't have to resort to such extreme methods. How would this even work for a smart bulb? Option number four, the one that I stumbled across and kind of it, it works surprisingly and that's a manually adding in the smart devices one by one using their MAC addresses right into the brand new router itself. So for the MAC addresses I picked up from my old network dialing into that router and then I saw a whole list of them or alternatively you can pick it up from the device info located within the smart devices own original app. So in my case, my smart devices were originally set up on Smart Life. So I just select the smart device, go to the device info section, wait for a sec, and then it should load the Mac ID. Now take it and within your brand new network that you're looking to join, you should find something called Mac address filtering, or even better, Mac binding. Now just add in your device name, the MAC address, and then choose the network band you want to use. And that's pretty much it. 
Now, if you're like me and you're using Mac filtering, keep in mind this will limit what devices can join the network as well as what bands they can use. So at least for testing purposes, give this one a shot. And of course, don't forget to enable it. Oh yeah, and as a quick side note, in my router, there was two different areas for Mac filtering. One which just allowed me to add items to a list and the other which allowed me to select the radio bands themselves. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Now, when I'm setting up the smart device, that exact same smart device, the moment it goes to connect to my new network, it's going to select the 2.4 gigahertz network and not the 5. Bitch bash bosh, joined. And there we go. Yeah, I was quite surprised as well that this actually worked. Now, the main issue with this method is that you have to actually already know what the MAC address is. And in most cases, I don't believe they're indicated within the internal packaging of the device or in its paperwork. So the only way to find it is to have it already set up. Yeah, and of course, the main issue here is you can't get it set up in the first place because you've only got access to that one combined network. And if that's the scenario you're in, what you could do is set up a Wi-Fi hotspot using your phone. Connect all your smart devices to that. And then through that network, you figure out what MAC addresses each device has, and then you use that to connect it to your new network. Um, it's a bit complicated, but we'll get the job done. You just need to tinker around a little bit. All right, if none of these have worked for you so far, maybe option number five, turning off 5G. Now, before you look down your nose on this one, just know it's a temporary shutdown. What we're going to do is access the router, toggle it off, connect all of our mod devices to it, and then turn it back on. Hopefully, your devices will just work. Now, this one is worth giving it a shot, but definitely method number four worked the best for me. Like, I knew when the device tried to connect, it would always connect to the 2.4. Anyway, hopefully one of these have worked out for you guys and solved the issue that you are facing. Now, how about checking out my invisible wireless charging side table setup? 